Just when you think Janelle Evans has explored every possible method for sabotaging her own life, she surprises you by creating some needless drama that's totally out of left field. Janelle's latest insanity is a crossover event in which her perpetual messiness spills over into the already messy world of the 90 Day Fiancé franchise. Back in April, Evans teamed up with Devin Clegg of 90 Day fame to host a podcast with the unfortunate title of Girl SHT. To the surprise of absolutely no one, Janelle got fired, the podcast went bust, and until this week, it looked like that was the end of the story. But then, Janelle decided to rehash the drama on social media, and while doing so, she accused Devin of stealing her Xanax during their brief time as co-workers. Clegg shot back by pointing out that she was pregnant at the time, and probably wasn't looking to pilfer anyone's anti-anxiety meds. She then went on to accuse Janelle of driving drunk with her daughter in the car, and generally being the awful person that we all know her to be. Now, Clegg is suing Evans for defamation of character, which is probably what Janelle should have anticipated when she publicly accused her of being a thief and a drug addict. Janelle hasn't worked in years, and with three kids in the house, at last count, she probably can't afford to lose a major lawsuit. You can tell Evans is running scared, because she hasn't posted about the Devon beef since Clegg threatened her with a lawsuit. Instead, she hid behind her lawyers and issued a statement to In Touch that was clearly written by someone else, at this time there is not much more to say. My response to her stating I have threatened, made allegations, spread rumors, defamed, slandered or cyber-stalked her is simply this, it's not me noticing her," Evans told the tabloid. After her stunts and lies regarding the podcast situation, I stopped communicating with her. It wasn't until my fans started sending me the weird postings she did about me. She went live multiple times to speak about me, my husband and kids. Did she not expect me to defend myself or respond? Janelle continued. She needs to heal from whatever is causing her to forget her actions and what she is accountable for. Other women from the podcast have verified that Devon was searching for ways to undermine my position and my removal from the project. From there, Janelle, or should we say Janelle's reps, argued that Devon went too far when she talked about the Evans family's past court cases, which are already matters of public record. She crossed the line when she pulled up old articles and court cases involving my husband and kids. Those responsible need to be held accountable, Janelle's team argued. It is unfortunate she causes all this destruction and expects for everyone else to pay the price. Janelle went on to claim that she was the one helping Devon's career by participating in the podcast and not the other way around. She went after me and my family when I gave her an opportunity to help her career, I actually considered her a friend, that's why I invited her during casting for the show. Instead, she wanted to take over the show, get me fired from the project I pitched to her on the very first day," Evans said. She is ungrateful, and it's all very unfortunate. She ruined a good opportunity for many women, not just me. Everyone is suffering the consequences of a very selfish person," Janelle continued, before concluding with the hilarious claim that no one could fire her because she was totally the boss. If you have questions, go watch my YouTube video where I address the undoing of the podcast. At the end of the day, my contract proves I was a producer as I've said all along. At this point, Janelle is refusing to back down, but the fact that she's speaking through her legal team tells us everything we need to know about how frightened she is. Meanwhile, an insider has confirmed to In Touch that Devon has already met with her attorneys to discuss lawsuits against two of her girl SHT co-hosts, I can confirm Devon has an appointment scheduled with her lawyer to discuss moving forward with a defamation and cyberstalking lawsuit against Janelle as well as filing additional lawsuits against former podcast co-star, Gabby Egan, and the owner of the girl s hashtag. T Podcast, who she says violated their NDA, non-disclosure agreement, the Source says, Devon feels attacked and plans to hold everyone legally accountable. And to the delight of decent human beings everywhere, it seems Janelle is at the top of Devon's revenge list.